My name is Katie and I have been in free flight for two years now, two and a half years. My first free flight bird was Mia, the blue and gold macaw. She's now seven years old. I'm able to get her outside and we have successful A to Bs, um, but she's still not at the level that I want her to be and I, I want her to be. It's still a lot of work. Um, it's always gonna be, I think with her, it's always gonna be an uphill battle. We're always, it's always gonna be something that I'm gonna have to work on. To continue developing Mia's skills, I would just need lots and lots of practice. Um, she needs to build up her stamina um, and her skill and her confidence. And the only way that she's going to be able to do that is just practice and just continue with the training. Do you have a big treat to show or anything? Mia, 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 come on! So I would meet her, put her back on top of the crate, and let's try just an A to B again. Okay. Just don't turn your back on her this time. Okay. What was the most frustrating thing about working with Mia? Mia! <laughs> Mia putting in all the work and just not getting this the, the results that I want, seeing her, her struggles. Um, you think, oh, I'm doing this and this and this, and at home it, it looks perfect, and then you get out and and then it, it just it doesn't happen that way. But I would, yeah. Go back up on top, Katie. Mia! Come on over here, Katie, where she was last time. Oh, she might not make it as far as she did last time. Okay, all right. I decided to get a baby bird because I really thought that I thought that it would help Mia. I thought that maybe I would be able to train them together, and I thought that maybe he would help her learn um, or encourage her. Um, it hasn't quite happened that way, <laughs> but that was my main goal. I, I truly thought that getting a baby bird would help her learn and advance, and then hopefully they could fly and fly and learn together. The skill development is different between Mercury and me. It's it's a lot different. Um, Mercury, it, it it has been it has been very easy. He's still very young, and I know that there's going to be more challenges down the road. But with your and Dave's training, you teach us not to. You just do this, and then the bird will fly. You 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 set us up for success. You say that, you know, just because it's this way now, down the road, it could be a completely different scenario. And you you teach us you know, what to look for and then how to work through those scenarios. Mercury and Mia, they didn't make the same mistakes. Um, their, their process was so much different. Um, I think Mia, it's, it's all confidence. It's her learning. She was clipped. She never got to naturally fledge. So with her, it's, it's about, she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know how to use her wings. Whereas Mercury, he, he was able to fledge and he got to be the broken helicopter, <laughs> he, you know, and he, he learned how to actually lose his, use his wings. So I think, I think it's been much easier for him. So the same struggle that they made was um, slowing down, learning how to, to apply the brakes. However, Mia, she just, she struggles to, to send out the landing gear and, and stop altogether, whereas Mercury just had to learn how to actually descend. He would get taken so far up in the air and he would just, circle and circle and circle and he didn't know how to come back down so that was his main thing is oh I'm all the way up here now how do I get back down to you here's your story let's begin the water's fine come on dive in the future's here it's right before your eyes step by step you're on your way you're welcome to a brighter day don't you know it feels good to be alive you could be larger than life
Mercury, he would communicate to me that he was stuck as he would just circle and circle and circle and he would let out his little Wah! in the air kind of like help mom or what do I do now um, he did one or two times he did land in the tree um, but we fixed that pretty quickly and I mean he hasn't landed in the tree since there were a couple times when Mercury was you know doing his flights and he was learning trying to learn how to to descend down and stop and there was a couple of times I literally had to just reach and like grab him by his face because he was just like I could tell he wanted to land and he's like mom and I don't know how to do this so yeah Here's woo, Jinxie. Woo, woo. Good job, good job. good boy good job, Merk. Merk, nice. woo, 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 woo. I can't reach you <laughs> he's like man I'm trying this again <laughs> Trying to get my feet planted so I feel safe. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of I'm gonna get out of the shot so it looks good. Nice, he's perfect now. Oh ah. darn it. Yes! Again! <laughs> Did you catch him by the face again? Oh my god! I did some, but we can just say we wanted to squish his face. But I was really trying to stop him. <laughs> Training um, an adult bird set me up for the success of a baby bird um, in many ways. Um, it kind of, it, Mercury was so easy and it just, it, it gave me what to look out for, what to ex not what to expect, but to know that it's it's not always going to be this easy. There's going to be problems, um, and it taught me different ways to, to try to work through it. My favorite feature of the Marshall's GPS system is it's just the security, knowing that you know if for some reason I mean not everything is 100% foolproof. Even though you put in all the training and the work, you you know you never know if you're going to have a raving a raven that chases your bird and. Um, just that security and it's also very very cool knowing like how fast and how far um, I think what Mercury flew like five miles one day at like 67 miles per hour so it's really cool having that data to know what they're really capable of um, I'm so glad that Bird Tricks put together the, the Bird Tricks Marshall package so you get you know you get everything in one package together you get the little dummy piece that you can put on your bird's tail and train them to you know this is okay don't break it into a million pieces and if they do break into a million pieces it's okay because it's not the actual one um but yeah it's it's i'm it's 100 percent awesome
Call Jersey. Mm-hmm. They're right over us now. Yeah. This Mercury. Mercury's one. You're circling right behind me. They're trying to get that cliff. We're gonna miss it again. I wish I was recording that whole flight, it's really cool. Oh, one, one landed, two landed, Mercury's in the air. <laughs> I have the track fade so you see it disappearing behind him. He's trying now hard. Oh, oh. My favorite part of the trip is just seeing the birds in the air, especially when they're out there and they're enjoying it and they're having fun and you can see them. It was so awesome. It's a completely different trip when you have a bird that's so successful and you, you get to see what they're truly capable of and seeing him in the air with Jinx and playing and them calling and you just playing. It's just, it's amazing when you, to seeing them in the air together. Go! Go! Here's Jinx. <laughs> Baby, you girl. Oh. I don't know. Oh my gosh! Look at him. That's no, tango. that's Tango. Oh. <laughs> he was Richie. Oh, maybe because the other bird. Who's the Richie keeping up with? Jinx. Richie. The Richie. Right here. Right here. Whoa, Jinx still going. Oh, Jinx found Tango. <laughs> no. Oh, Car, psych, Katie. Car, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Are you oh calling my, my bird, Katie? Merk. I know I was calling the wrong bird. Merk, Merk. Come on, Merk. Come on, Merk. <laughs> <laughs> I have more energy ah, than ah, any of these on. birds. Ah, I'm going to fall in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a lot of people, they want the free flight course for their birds, but they really question the price. And when you, when you look at the, the bigger picture, I mean, it's, it's, it's not about the price. It's about giving your bird the gift of doing what they're supposed to be able to do. Mia, she was clipped as a baby. She never got to fully fledge, and she was in a cage. And a bird, they have wings. They shouldn't be, that would be like cutting off our legs and being in a wheelchair for the rest of our lives. You know, she has wings. She's meant to use them. So in the long run, yes, she's not fully there. But if it takes till I'm 90 years old, she's she will be there one day. And it'll just be that much more wonderful when she is. Um, to me, it's worth it. Seeing them in the sky, playing in the wind, and playing with each other and calling to each other, and, and that they choose to come back to you, um, it's just, it's, it's something you can't put into words. And it's, in my opinion, it's totally worth it.
just sit on his lap. <laughs> Not awkward at all. You wanted them to know who she's talking to. <laughs>